This one is called uh, the ORCA call list. So if you are doing any kind of a call center kind of thing where you're trying to contact people and you want a dashboard to track your project, pro, um, progress. Sorry, I had a cup of coffee and a mini stroke right there. Okay, so uh, if you want to track your progress, they have this Orca call list external module. And I don't think we've uh, demoed this before. Uh, so I certainly don't remember having seen it. So um, if you go to your external modules, you know, we tell you this all the time. And since we only have a couple people here that, and both of you know how to enable a module, you enable the module and you find this Orca call list module. So there's two parts to this. If you look at the documentation, you're gonna see this because I had to learn about it. And, and it looks like kind of a lot, but actually it's, it's not a lot. And I'll show you uh, why. And, and I'm not sure that I really um, am doing it complete justice, uh, but I can at least get you started. Um, with how it works. So the, this is the help and, and it's, it is well done. And that's the documentation. And then you configure it. So the configuration, um, you know, I wasn't really sure about. I think that the most important thing is you need a variable called call underscore date for this to work. I'll come back to this a couple of times and, and we'll take a look at it, but you need that call date in a field. So I created this really, really basic form called contact information. So if we take a look at it and I see there's only three fields. So here is my call date. Now, the requirement is that the call date must be month, day, year, date, time. So it can't be a date. It's gotta be a date and time because this module is going to show you uh, all of these dates and times and, you know, cause it's representing when you've called. Um, so I, I pre-populated it with now, uh, action tag, you know, maybe not necessary there, but just trying to help myself out in testing. So I've got the call date on here. So then I just had two fields originally. I had the call date and the comments. And I tested it and I, I could see how it would work, but I didn't quite grasp the concept of these color codes. So I played around with it a little more and the color codes um, light up when you have, when you define a field uh, that has choices. So, I mean, I didn't know what to put in here, but I put, you know, three things uh, representing the contact result. Okay, what, once I did that, if I come back to my external modules and go into the call list and configure it, then um, I, uh, I really don't need to do anything else but decide how many uh, number of entries I wanna show, I'll show you that in a minute, and then what fields I wanna display. So first I just put first name on there cause I didn't know the value of this, but anyway, this is like one of those external modules. Once you create it, it shows up on the left under external modules. So it runs sort of externally. You don't have to worry about getting into the record status dashboard or seeing just one record or whatever. And when you call this up, 
you get something that looks like this. I just said in my external module configuration, remember I just said, I think it's coming. Okay, so I again just said, show me the first name here variable, and then I added the gender after that. So when I open the call list now and I take a look, I see the first name of all the records and the gender. Then over here are contact attempts. So I'll show you that I've made three contact attempts for this record here. And when I, I, I can open that record right here, uh, which I'll show you, but up on the top, <clears throat> it shows you the um, key for the, what it, the colors that it's gonna show you. So it's gonna show you the color for the last entry that you enter. So I'll enter something into some of these others, and then you can see. And this is all based on that one dropdown because each color is associated to a number, right? So one is green, two is blue, three is red, etc. So I'll just open this record right. Oh, and this has to be repeatable instrument. So that's key also. So I had to make that one. This doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be longitudinal study or anything like that to use repeatable instruments. So if I open this up and I decide I'm going to call Shauna here. And I'm going to call her right now. And the result was she was not home. And I say, oh, I'm done with that one. Save and exit the form. Okay, and now I come back into my call list. And we take a look. See, so now this is blue, letting you know she was not home. I don't know what happened there. Blue, letting you know that she's not home. Uh, my contact attempt was in the afternoon uh, and I've made one attempt in the afternoon. So if I wanted to uh, call in the morning, I could try that and you could see the result. But if I call again, open up this record and add a new contact information uh, record, you know, it's auto-populating again. This time I say uh, my attempt failed. And I say complete. Save and exit the form. Okay, you're not going to see anything here, but, you know, I did set it up to show the timestamps on these things. So I go to my work a call list. And instead of not home, it's now showing that the last call was failed. So this will always update with the color and you can have up to uh, this many colors, six colors. And as it says here, you can add more options, uh, but the colors uh, won't be available for those additional options that you use in your checkbox. Um, so, if you, one of the places, you know, we're, we have some new studies that we're working on right now that are, are fairly large. Actually, they're very large. And one of them in particular is looking for uh, an attempt to try to uh, make contacts with individuals, but keep a balance um, in certain variables. So maybe, uh, an equal number 
of males and females and an equal number of age group and an equal number of this and that. So um, you can set those variables up and then uh, you can uh, do some sorting and say, you know, I want to call female um, and, you know, here's the first one and you, you only want someone, uh, you don't want someone who is a successful call. So successful is this reddish color. So if I uh, ask for not home or failed, then I get this and the success is, you know, weaned out. Um, but anyway, I can show these things and then I can make a call and I can just open the record from here. So I think that's really all to show you about this. Um, and as I said, you can decide how many records you want to show at once. You can use the previous and next option to move through uh, the, if you have only showing 10, then you can show the next 10 using the previous and next option. You can also use the search button if you're looking for something in particular. All right, uh, any questions about that? All right, this is kind of a, a neat thing. This sort of uh, piggybacks on the Orca search option that is used um, by a lot of projects. So if there are no other questions, we're gonna have a short day here. Uh, we have a lot of projects going on, so I'm going to get back to it and let you have the rest of your day back. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate that uh, you made the effort to take a look at what we have for you. Hopefully these are helpful. Um, try to present something that can be useful for you in your day-to-day -day projects and keep things easy. So I look forward to seeing you back next week. Have a nice weekend and I'll see you then.